Okay, so with the release of version 2018.1.0, Pro Tools came out with their version of track presets, and a lot of us have been using the, the hack to be able to access track presets, and so I'm just gonna show you what I did to be able to convert my old track presets over to the new track presets. So um, right now you'll see that if I'm to create a new track, I've got all my old track presets here, and then here's the new track preset. So in any case, what I've done to be able to convert them over is you want to go to your folder that, for me, by default, it's in my library, or I'm sorry, in my documents. You go to Pro Tools, and then you should have created a track presets folder. So in here, when you installed Pro, this latest version of Pro Tools, you'll see that you'll have audio, you'll have the Avid has created a folder for you. And if you look at these, they're all at p .ptxp. And all the previous ones that you've made, these two up here, I've, I've made since trying these presets out. And then you can see all of ours are ptxt. So we just mainly need to change these to ptxp. Um, what I would recommend is to create a backup of this before you do this, though. Maybe backup track presets and drag it over here. And then in track presets, the, the app that I found that helps me to be able to rename a lot of these is called Name Changer. And that is a free app you can download here. So this is where I got it from, Mac Update. And so what you do here is you can come in and you can select a bunch of these files and drag and drop. And then what I did is I said XT and I'm saying replace last occurrences with XP. And then once I've done that, you just hit rename. And you'll see it will rename them all there. And then you can just go about doing that with the rest. So my other folders, all I have to do is hit clear. And then highlight all of these again, drag and drop. And that one, I actually don't want in there. Um, hit rename. Go to instruments and so forth. So anyway, you can repeat that process. Um, once you've done this, you'll see that now when you come over here and try to use one of the new track preset features, such as I'm recalling a track preset. You'll see now I, you'll have the options in here to be able to, to change them. So now I can choose to change this preset. And there you go. And so that worked and changed it all for me. Hope that helps you guys.